Hello everyone. It is me. Look what's turned up today. So I can start that at some point. I won't do it now though. I'm going to start this bit and try and do a bit. Oh, knackered though. Absolutely knackered. Oh, I have just sorted out the bathroom. God, I hate tidying bathrooms. Oh, God. And the dust. Uh. But anyway, <clears throat> all I have to do is hoover the floor. If I do, I might just mop it and get the dust up that way. But there again, I probably will hoover. Hoover the floor. And, um, oh, I've got to do the window sill, But that means I've got to mend the Venetian blind that's up there. Because at the moment, it's um, it fits in the recess. It's wedged in there. And the only thing that's holding it in there is a new roll. <laughs> Stuffed in the side just to... Yes, I know. It didn't quite fit. It was there to start off with. You know, I, I've granted I've had to add the loo roll because one evening when the cat was on zoomies it um i had this crash and i thought it was desi but it wasn't desi it was just i don't know maybe the um the zoomies caused a vortex and the cat and it just sort of vibrated so much that the thing fell down and then i looked at the state of the loo roll that was holding it up there and it was a bit buggered so i just change the loo roll over uh, but yes so um i've got to find a better solution and the dust that's on the window so bleh. i do have the window always at sort of a little bit open a little bit ajar so it's always sort of you know um a little bit of breeze ventilation is coming through but yeah, I'm well pleased with what I did. Fucking killing me. I had to move my little stall in there. Ugh. Oh, does anybody else hate doing cleaning around the toilet? Ugh. I loathe it. It is the worst job possible. And it's not. Because there's only me in the house and the cat, I'm not a messy peer, I will say. So it's nothing like, you know, like blokes' peas. Yeah, it seems to go everywhere. Um, but it's the dust and the dust round there. And then you just sort of, oh, God. You know, you try and get your dust around there, but it's sort of adhered. <laughs> so the only way you can get, a, get it up is by scrubbing it. And I had some of these and when I was in hospital with my broken ankle, I um, had some of these little quanti sort of wipes, dry wipes, I think they call them. So basically, I just used those and the um, multi-surface kill bacteria thing to um, clean it. But then you're just smearing the dust everywhere. Ugh, so then I had to get a, I had an old tea towel that I, um, I literally, I don't use it for, um, for, you know, drying plates or anything like that. It's like a rag tea towel. And, um, and I, um, used that to dry all down, but bloody hell. Ugh, bane of my existence, that is. It does look nice, though. I might finish it, the, the, um, the windowsill later because it'd be nice then if i can say that's one room done and i've got there was two little boxes in the corner that have been waiting to sort since probably since i've moved in there to be honest and um well finally sorted through them decanted a lot of stuff binned a lot of stuff and um i think I've kept, obviously I've kept some, I've managed to put some back into one of the boxes, the nicest box, and that has moved back into there, because it's some things like some old photos, and some of the kids' little beanies, and um, my little um, jewellery, 
box thing which I think will come out at some point it's just not at this moment because I've got to do the rest of the tidying up first before I can find a place for it and then two items for the charity shop yeah, one of those is one of those little tripod lights, those little little ones. I got it in a set with um, uh, there were two lights and uh, whatnot, but the light it wouldn't stay up, even though you tightened it up, it wouldn't stay up. So um, it just kept dropping down, looking very sad, probably because it was in my house, and it thought, oh god, she doesn't know what she's doing with these lights and um yeah so i um so i've put that for the charity shop because i'm sure somebody will know what they're doing i mean it could have i think if anything i think it's probably um that it swiveled around the wrong way and it just needs rotating all the way around to the place that it's sort of tighter at but well and a little pair of slip-on shoes. And I did find the shoes that nearly became the death of me when I fell down the stairs. They were my slip-ons, they were so comfortable, I really liked them. But they'd started um, getting feeling loose. And um, I was going down the stairs and I'm sure it was it was them that sort of went and then I lost my balance before I knew I was down at the bottom. I don't know. I don't remember going down there, so I think I must have been knocked out. But, you know, I told them I wasn't because I didn't think I had been. But um, I think I was because I don't remember being. I remember being at the top of the stairs. And then at some point, I remember at what point I was remembering and thinking, don't pass out, don't pass out, don't pass out. And really fighting the urge not to pass out because I so wanted to, and um, and then then it was like I was at the bottom of the stairs, and I don't really know how I got there, apart from falling, <laughs> obviously. Yes. Yeah. But it's weird when you're falling and you do that, create that, you know, you, you've got real pain because you've, well, I dislocated and broken my ankle. I mean, in three places. So it was it was a really nasty break and dislocated and it was agony. But when I was falling, when I landed, I don't recall the pain, which is rather good, isn't it? So I'm pretty certain a lot of the time when you think, oh gosh, it's going to be painful. I don't think it is. I, I think it was. It took a while for my brain to catch up with my body, basically. I'm pretty certain that's what it was. But well, I've done that. So I've got to, um, God, I can't believe it. The administrator for these houses, I bumped into her, so I was coming back from craft group and I was just taking my um, scooter back round to the um, to the shed. And she was with one of the other trustees, who I like, you know, she was fine. But um, this one, she just said, well, I hope you, uh, you know, basically, young, uh, you know, I said, I asked her when the um, inspection thingy was and she said, oh, oh about three weeks time. And I said, oh, good. Well, I'm getting there. And she goes, well, I hope you've managed to get a, a, a lot of your stuff out. And I'm thinking, how bloody rude. A lot of my stuff. This is my life you're talking about, woman. And just because it's not your bag, you're not, you, not your cup of tea, don't look down your nose at me and mine. Thank you very much. I did get a little bit peed off. Well, 
I can only do so much because I'm in pain. I mean, it was crazy because the first thing she said when she saw me was, oh, are you all right? You seem out of breath. And I said, yeah, I'm in pain and my back is killing me. I'm in pain and I'm, I'm tired. And so I've just said that and then she goes on and does that. And I'm just thinking, feck it now. Excuse my German, but jeepers, creepers. Not everybody, you know, lives in a nice posh bought for house, you know has enough money to deal with it you know and stuff goes on holidays for months you know <sighs> give us a break love but when the person comes round if they do have a go at me but everything I should say, look, you try doing this when you're in absolute agony on your own. I have done this myself and, you know, I've had to fit it in around my health. And I'm sorry, but I'm not breaking my bloody back, getting in more and more pain, not sleeping for them to be so condescending. Ugh. I know it's taken me a while to do it but hey you know I've had mental health issues where I wasn't capable of doing anything literally anything for at least a couple of years then I got agoraphobia again well agoraphobia never leaves you does it really Then we had COVID, three years down to COVID, of all shit. And I've been here five years, I think, five, nearly six years. So, um, you know, I'm doing my best. And if they say, oh, you got stuff under your table, I say, say, yes, I have got stuff on my table because I've got nowhere else to put it. I would get rid of it. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, and breathe and breathe. That might not be what they're going to say. Well, if it is. I think what I might do is I might take some of the stuff that I need to get up to the um up to the office. I should put it in the shed for now and slowly take it up to the office so it's out of the house and then they can go shite one. I don't have a car. And I'm not sure I want a car now thinking about it because even if I was to get a motability car the way pip is going they're basically refusing to give you any pip if you drive a car so it's like hmm, stuff that as much as I'd like to have a car hey I don't think I could cope with it to be honest I've lost my confidence. And not only that is, if I have to keep turning for my back, you know, turning to the blind spot. I know you can get these gadgets that can do it all, you know, look in your blind spot for you, but, you know, I don't trust those. All it takes is for a motorbike to come up, and they're sneaky little blighters, motorbikes suddenly you you don't realize and you're about to pull out to overtake something and before you know it there's a motorbike that sort of started off way behind you but in literally a split second it's alongside you <sighs> but 
yes. Oh dear. I'm definitely going to have a shower later. That might soothe my bones and my muscles. Gosh, I can't believe it's Friday tomorrow. The end of the week, near enough. Where has this week gone? Oh. Where's that drill gone? Oh dear. God, I was sneezing upstairs because of the dust. I did one massive sneeze and I nearly headbutted the flipping sink. That would have been nasty. We're thankful I didn't. Oh dear. Pleased with what I've done. Something I've been meaning to do for ages this tidying up and this whatever. But you get to the point where you just you can't do anything. I just get to the point where I just am like paralyzed with inaction where well, I can't think straight I can't I don't know where to start and it's all very well saying start at the beginning it's like yeah but where's the beginning and then you have the you know you want to start at the beginning so you then spend ages trying to find where the beginning is and which room should you tackle first so you look at the rooms and you try and decide but you can't decide because they're all equally as bad and you're actually really looking for the one that's going to take less time to get your momentum up and running. But not one of them is like that because they're all the same. And you then think, oh God. And then I think, right, okay, I will get the washing. I move the washing to the kitchen. But then the kitchen is so pokey, so small. If I was to move the washing and just throw it in the floor in front of the 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 washing machine well a the floor's grubby which i know won't matter so much because i've got i'm going to be doing the washing so it's going to be going in there but i don't want the dust going in the washing machine because then you you know you get your stuff out it's bad enough for the bloody cat fur and it's bad enough this this washing machine i got powder and i won't be getting powder again i got powder because i thought it'd be um slightly cheaper in my old washing machine, my very, my last washing machine, it worked perfectly. It was absolutely brilliant. Now, they might have changed the formula over for the wash powder, but this stuff, it just doesn't seem to, um, you know, dilute. And so on your clothes, when they've been washed, you end up with like pockets of um, a washing powder sort of sat there so then you think great i'm gonna to have to rinse that off wash that off because i have tried just shoving it back in the washing machine and giving it another go but it still remains there god knows why and so you think oh god i did want to hope i did hope to go and get some um they had some dishwasher tablets in Sainsbury's that were cheap usually a nine pound pack it was down to seven pound and there was one which was down to five pounds and I was thinking right I'll get get one of those but I had to give my last bit of pennies to my son so he could get home from work so I told him I said totally brassic I am now I'm absolutely, completely and utterly, you've wiped me out. You've taken me last pennies. I mean, yes, I've got a couple of quid in me Diamond Art Fund because I've taken um, the other bit out because I ordered some inserts and some other things for diamond painting from Timu and stuff. So um, what I did was I took... I did the Timu bit with um, money in my account and then I reimbursed me with the cash. So then 
I got my food with the cash. It's no different than me putting it, going into the bank, taking the money out or whatever. Or putting the money in. So, yeah. Sausages in the fridge. Actually, I should have something in a minute. I should have. When I got those sausages, I got the chipolata ones. Because um, they were on special, you know, reduced. And I thought, what I should have done was I should have bagged them up in packs of like four. So I think there were 12 of them. And I should have packed them up in bags of four and just got out one bag. So then I would have only ate that one bag. But if I get, if I, I got the whole bag out. So that means that I'm going to then flip them well, cook them all. And then in, while they're sat in the fridge, or after I've had my ones for dinner, they're going to be sat in the fridge and I'm just going to be going in there and um, having one every now and then. And so before I know it, those sort of meals are no more. I've got to make, I was going to have sausage sandwich. I might have that tonight, actually. And then I shall um, then, yeah, because I can cook them all up. And I will chop the rest up because then they can go into my rice stock pot sort of stew type thing that I make. Yeah. And that can be for tomorrow. I've got mince. So I've got bolognese for Sunday. And Monday I can have, no, I think Sunday I might have, not not Bolognese. I'll save the Bolognese for, um, for, um, what's all eights? For, um, Sunday, uh, uh, for Monday. And I will, I will have baked potato and bolognese someday because I don't want these baked potatoes going all a bit soft and a bit sprouty and then Tuesday is pip day so then I can go and get some more pip some more food and I won't be Oh, and I've got to put the money back for my um for my rent. And then I yeah, I must work out my budgeting, sort it all out, check it all. What's wrong with all these flipping drills that keep bouncing out? Get down, stay down. Hmm. God, that bathroom looks good though. Except for the floor. And I've put the bin bag outside, so that is one. One bin full. And I put my old bin outside, my old kitchen bin, because it was way too big and it just started peeing me off because by the time I filled it up, it was too heavy for me to lift out and change. And and because I eat apples, and at the moment I don't know what it is, but there's a fruit fly invasion Which is crazy. I just don't know where they're coming from. They're, they're all going for my apples. 
and I eat them and I put them in the bin and there they are. You open the bin lid up and half a ton of fruit flies fly out. So I'm hoping with this smaller bin, that won't be the case. Because I tell you what, I'm fed up with bloody fruit flies flapping in your face. And you just can't get rid of them unless you make the mix. The mix, which they don't like. Well, actually, they do like until they don't like it anymore. They do like it until they start drowning. And the mix is vinegar, sugar, washing up liquid, topped up with warm water. <laughs> And the little buggers love it, but they fall in it. <laughs> oh dear. I'm drinking sparkling water, which is what I shouldn't be doing. <coughs> Pardon me. But I get these small bottles, so it's... um. You know, it's only fizzy to start off with. And before you know it, it's fat as a pancake. All right, let's see. Eights. Let's do eights. And I think I can possibly do a smidge of... Oh, I'm going to need the bags. A smidge of... Eight, two, three, this is. Eight, two, three. A smidge of nine three nine one five oh 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 do I have it nine three nine nine three nine loads of nine three nine nope is that all of the eight two three I've got oh no to say, oh my god, I really thought I was buggered then. Oh, young man, at your age, at my age, oh, young man. Sorry, every now and then, every now and then. Right, so I start single placing. I'm a single placer, I'm a sing uh Earworm, get out. Let's do these ones in here, which are eights. Then I can do Do you know what? I went through Sainsbury's on my way back and I spent some cash that I had and I don't know what I went in there for. I really, oh, I went in to get some more fizzy water because I didn't have any. And I got the fizzy water. I got a 12 pack of those bottles because, you know. I did. And, um, and then what happened? Oh, yes. And then, of course, because I was in there, I thought, oh, I want some crisps. So I went round the crisp bar, got some crisps. And Sainsbury's only have sort of those potato chips, which I quite like, but they weren't really what I was after. But I was in Sainsbury's and I hate Tyrol or whatever those crisps are. And I didn't fancy anything else and they, all the others were stupidly priced. And so I um, got those. Then, of course, because I was in the area, I... Um, Went via the chocolate and I got a dime dairy milk because that was on special, so I got that. And then I had to get some shoelaces because that's what I tend to do, you know, um, the strawberry sh shoelaces, licorice ones. And that's what I tend to get. That's my snack treat thing. Yeah, problem was I came back and I ate it. And oh God, do I feel crap. What I should have done was come back and eaten proper food. But I have to say, I was tired. I'd had the encounter, the run-in, 
Oh, look, there's a nine with the, um, do you know what? That nine, don't look, look away, look away now. Oh, what nine? It was an eight after all. And um, I, um, I didn't feel like cooking at that moment. So I ate the chocolate and I'll feel crap. That's the thing, I must. And I didn't go and get my bloods taken. I will tomorrow though, I think. Yeah, I think I will tomorrow because I charged up my scooter while I was at group. And the good thing is, since I've had these new batteries, they are lasting. I mean, that one, I did a bit of um, charging today and realistically, I didn't, it, it's been lasting about just under a week. Whereas before, my God, you can tell the battery was dying and dead because it wasn't even lasting a day. So I'm well happy now with that. So I charged it up a bit in group because if I have to charge it up here, it means I have to bring in the, the, the scooter in the house and, oh God, then it, there's no room for it to sit. And it's just a nightmare. Mm. Right. It's what time are we on? God, half seven. My word. Yep. I'm going to do this colour and then I'm going to um, log off, finish this off cam and then I'm going to go and have a, a shower and then I'm going to go upstairs and if I have any um, strength I might just do a spot of tidying up upstairs. I want to get my chest of drawers sort of emptied off so then I can get to the drawers in my chest of drawers because it's empty. My chest of drawers is empty bar from a few items. And then I can um, put the clothes that are down here in to the chest of drawers. And I want to move all the stuff, so I have to get all the stuff for, that is work. Down and put in the basket, and then I've got to take that up. So oh, I won't be able to do it tomorrow if I'm getting my bloods taken. Uh, but yeah, um, Gonna say something, I can't remember what I was gonna say. Oh my god. Um yeah, all my work stuff. Oh it reminds me I've got to um print out a um a picture that I've got to then put into a card and get that posted off tomorrow. Well picked up tomorrow. So actually, I think I will. When I've stopped this, I won't finish until I've done the card. And then I will go make the card. And then... I took my um, laptop into... Oh, for God's sakes into craft group today thinking I, I really want to get on and you know upload some listings to ebay and stuff 
Did I get any done? No, I didn't. Oh, knickers. That's a round edge. Bottomed. I want the flat bottomed girls. Not the curvy ones, thank you very much. There's a time and a place for curvy, but it's not in my drill tray. Yeah. <sighs> Nearly done with these eights. Yeah, because actually it is coming together. I mean, I've got to get, I've got to sort those. Actually, I could do those Jonah boxes next. I think I'll do that after I've done this. Oh, hold on a minute. No, I better get that picture that I need to print off. Because I did have it in a card, and guess what? Not so long ago, I was thinking, ah, oh, be ruthless. You know, nobody's buying the cards. So, you know, and if needs be, I'll just make one up. And I'll just send these off to the charity shop. So I sent a whole load off to the charity shop, didn't I? Yeah. And then people have been ordering the cards. And, of course, I'm there thinking... I had that. I flipping had that. Didn't need to make one. And you sort of think, oh God. Didn't see them in the charity shop though, so I hope they didn't bin them. Because that would just be pants if they did. Right. Come on. Well, that's that. I need a three one. There. Let's have a five one. Oh, I could have had a six one. Let's make it six. And we'll have a two one. Need a two one for down. There. That is in. It's one of those greater thans or whatever's. Mm. I think I'm going to be needing to um. To um, put more putty in and one, two, three, and then a one. Oh, get on! Definitely need a new glue dot. Right, so let's move that down if I can carefully. I'm going to need more room up the top for that tip. Don't you dare. There we go. Right, any more eights? Nope. Right, so on that note, I'm going to love you and leave you because I've got to do lots of things. So, um, where did that go? Eight, two, three. There. Maybe when I do my next filming, I will start reading a little bit of Enchanted, no, The Magic Faraway Tree. I'll start off with that one, don't I? So, until that time, that's it in order. Magic Faraway Tree, Ventures of the Wishing Chair and the Enchanted Wood. Right. So we're going to do them, kids. You're now kids, okay? Not really. You're big kids. And um, we're going to go back to childhood for a bit. Whether you like it or not. 
oh dear well you know me we'll probably do it for a few for a few chapters and then i'll give up so um yeah we'll wait and see what happens right I'd be love you and leave you and please if you wouldn't mind liking, commenting, subscribing and sharing. I need 114 I think so I get to the magic 500 which will be ace because then I can um I can connect to my Shopify which just feels like a milestone another milestone which would be good for me. I mean, it's not the be-all and the end-all, but it's just a milestone that I can achieve. I want to achieve 500. Yay. It's quality, not quantity. We will get there whenever we get there. But any rate, I'm now waffling because you can tell I'm tired. Right. Okay. Tutty bye. <laughs>